Good morning. In Revelation 5, we are introduced to a scroll that has seven seals. Now, when we arrive at chapter 6, we'll see those seals opened and what happens as the wrath of God against his enemies is expressed. It will be sobering. Our God is a consuming fire in that he is to be revered. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, Hebrews 10, 31. Now, if God is your loving Heavenly Father, he welcomes and embraces you. But if he is your enemy, when you fall into his hands, he will deal with you. So today we are grateful for grace and the sacrificed blood of the perfect Lamb of God, Jesus, who has taken away the guilt of our sin because he paid for it on the cross. Hallelujah. But that scroll, what is it? Well, in the culture of the day, legal documents were written on parchment, their paper, and they were rolled into scrolls. Now, you may have heard about the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, discovered by archaeologists in caves around the Dead Sea. They contain writings, are you ready? From every book of the Old Testament, except the book of Esther. Fragments from every book have been secured they validate the accuracy of the Bible, and God has preserved it throughout the generations. You know, many thought that these discoveries would disprove the Bible and bring down Christianity. Instead, as more are found, the most recent in caves in Israel, they continue to confirm that what we have is accurate. It is God's holy word. So, the scroll. Well, we learn from historians that legal documents, uh, title deeds, and wills, they were written on scrolls, rolled up, and sealed with seven seals. Uh, Augustus and Vespasian's wills had seven seals. So when Jesus uses that image in John's vision, uh, what is he wanting to convey? Well, first, the scroll, it's, it's in the Father's right hand. That's his hand of blessing. And the creation of the world was intended to be a blessing that he created. And when all things conclude, there will be a new heaven and earth, and we will be blessed to be citizens of it. But for now, it's a mess. Uh, governed by flawed people, influenced by demonic spirits, we live on a planet where evil abounds, injustices are common, and there is often much sadness and despair. But this still is our Father's world. He has the title deed, and he is giving it as an inheritance to his son, and all his son chooses to share it with. But first, evil has to be vanquished. It's already been defeated by the cross. Uh, that was never in question. A day is coming when all this will be no more. Final judgments are coming, and that include the judgment and condemnation of the wicked. After that, God will usher in a new heaven and new earth. Behold, he will make all things new. So what does this mean for us today? Well, remember, our Father is firmly fixed on his throne. No enemies threaten him or his rule, and those who think they can will eventually discover that they cannot. He is sovereign. God holds the scroll, and Jesus the Son, the Worthy One, will open it and fulfill the Father's ultimate plan to redeem him for himself a people that are his very own. So, don't lose hope. Persevere in your faith. Continue fulfilling the commission the Lord gave us uh, to take his gospel across the street and around the world. Today, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father who is in heaven. If anything, just remember, the scroll is in the Father's right hand. The Son will take it, and one day all will be made right. That gives us great hope, doesn't it? Let's pray. Lord, thank you in the midst of such chaos and confusion in this world that you are on your throne. This is your world, and one day you will finally vanquish all your enemies and we will join you in heaven and know everlasting joy and peace. We are so excited 
for the future and the plan that is for us. Thank you. We're also aware, Lord, that there are people who still don't know you. And so we pause to remember to pray for the lost. Perhaps in these moments you might begin interceding for those who don't know the Lord. Pray for their salvation. Pray for open doors that you could share the gospel with them. Pray that God would send other Christians into their lives who will live the authentic Christian life and speak up and share the gospel message with them. Pray as the Lord leads. God bless you.